I was in the studio um, recording and the phone rang and I was working with a guy from Ireland called Fergal Sharkey. The receptionist said, oh, I've got Bob Dylan on the phone for you. And I, I was convinced it was Fergal sort of locking around. So I picked up the phone and went, yes. And then this voice came on. It's like, okay, nobody can fake that voice. So I knew instantly it was Bob Dylan. And it was weird because since I was a kid, I was obsessed with learning his songs. Then he you know, asked if we want to meet, meet up and chat. So we met up at this place called the Talisai restaurant on Sunset Boulevard. And we, you know, had a few drinks and ate some food. And he talked a lot about film and about, you know, his feelings about, he said he hated making videos and all this kind of stuff. And I said, oh, I really like making videos. And he and I see them as like surreal vignettes, you know. Anyway, he got in a car and he said, follow me, we'll go to this club. And I thought, Bob doesn't really go to clubs, it sounds weird. But it wasn't a club that I would have recognized. It was more like just middle of nowhere. And as the door opened, there was this amazing, you know, sort of mariachi Mexican music playing and lovely lady, really tiny, wearing a, like a wedding dress. And she was like, Bobby. And we went into basically a kind of uh, a party, like a Spanish atmosphere party. And everybody seemed to know Bob. And we sat down and we were meeting people. And they said, oh, let's make a film tomorrow. And this person will be in it and this person. And it was just like walking into one of his songs, really. 